Hold up. Should you buy a house today or should you wait? This is the question I get every single day from all of you that have been watching my channel. So I appreciate you guys watching. But even with a lot of our clients that are local here in Las Vegas, should you buy a house or should you wait? Well, in this video, I'm going to be giving you five reasons why I would be buying a house in today's market. And I'm also going to show you a strategy that will help you win your next offer and save you thousands of dollars on interest. So make sure to watch to the very end of this video because you do not want to miss this strategy. If this is the first time that you've been checking out my channel, my name is Sean Uihara. I'm a branch manager with Loan Depot, helping you finance your homes all across the country. Whether you're buying your first home, buying a vacation home, or building your real estate portfolio, I've got you covered. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I put out content every single week to help you understand the real estate and mortgage industry. I've been doing this for 15 years and everything I share with you is knowledge and tips and strategies that we implement with our clients every single day. And if you ever need a second opinion on your pre-approval or your refinance, make sure to send me an email. We will do a no cost obligation to make sure you get your mortgage right. Now the market's starting to shift and we all know that prices are starting to come down. Sellers are willing to negotiate. So many things are taking place and it's almost happening overnight, which is pretty crazy when you really think about the market where we were six months ago, where we were 90 days ago and where we are today. Um, earlier in the year, it was like the market would not slow down. Interest rates jumped up out of the blue. No one really thought that was going to happen. Rates jumped to 6%. Buyers freaked out. Sellers who had their home on the market all of a sudden weren't getting showings. They started to price reduce because they were scared. Did I miss the boat? Should I have sold my house several months ago and got top dollar? Well, the market's starting to shift. And in my opinion, even though it may somewhat still be a seller's market by definition, as a buyer, things are now in your favor. And I've got five reasons why I would be buying a house. And as a matter of fact, I am looking to actively purchase homes as an investor in this market. So as a homeowner, here are things that I would be considering and what I'm looking for when I'm negotiating my own deals. Number one, I love the fact that there is more inventory on the market. Earlier in the year here in Las Vegas, there was probably only a, a couple of thousand homes for sale. Fast forward to today, if we are now in September. The last numbers that I looked at in July and August, there was close to 20,000 homes for sale on the market. Huge increase of homes available. And why I like that is because, again, if we go back to 2020, 2021, as a home buyer, you had no option. You literally had a handful of homes to choose from. And then it came down to who was willing to go above and pay over the list price to get your offer accepted. So in today's market, there's a lot more to choose from which is a good thing because you don't have to settle on just one property. You now get to pick and choose what really fits you as a home buyer. So I love that as an option. Number two, there's less competition. This is a great thing because interest rates jumped up to five and 6%, which freaked everybody out. Many home buyers decided not to buy. Why? Because they felt that rates were too high and they thought they should get a 2% interest rate. And I've talked about this numerous times. Make sure to check out Freddie Mac's website, they show you the history of the 30 year fixed rate since 1971. I did the math myself. The average was 7.76%. So even if you got a rate at 6%, you're still under the average over the last 50 years. And there's nothing wrong with that. And for some of you that have actually watched my channel, I've told my own story about buying my first house. My interest rate was 7%. So if you can lock in a rate today in the fives, that's still a win. You can always refinance your home loan into a lower interest rate. And being that there's less competition in the marketplace, I now as a buyer can be patient with my home purchase. The last two years, there was no patience. You could not have patience. You literally had to write an offer the day you saw the house. Sometimes clients were even writing offers before they looked at the home because they knew by the time it would take them to go drive to the home, preview the house, go back to the realtor's office, write up the offer, that house could easily be sold. So again, the last two years, it was all about urgency. You had to move quick. You had to make fast decisions. Some of you hated that because you felt that you did not have the time to go look at the houses. And guess what? Now you have all the time in the world 
because there's more homes for sale and there's less competition. So that's another reason why I would look to buy right now because I get to take my time and find the right deal that's gonna fit me. And the next reason why I'm looking to buy right now is because sellers are willing to negotiate. Again, the last couple of years, forget it. You could not negotiate anything with the sellers. The sellers dictated the entire transaction. Why? Because there were 20, 30, 40 offers on one house. So your heartfelt story about why they should pick your offer didn't really matter because sellers cared about their bottom dollar. And all they wanted to see was who was willing to pay the most amount of money so they could walk away with the largest profit. Fast forward to our market today, total different environment. Sellers are willing to negotiate. This is one thing I've been stressing to my clients lately. I said, let's think about if you were the seller for a second. Your thought process is still catered to what it was a couple of years ago, which was, I'm gonna put my house on the market, it's gonna sell within a couple of days, I'm gonna get top dollar. Just like you as a home buyer, some of you are still caught up in the fact that you think you should get a 2% interest rate. So we still haven't faced the reality of what the market is today. Same thing goes for the seller. They have not adjusted to the realities of the market today. So every day that house sits on the market, feels like a week. Every week that goes by that an offer doesn't come in, that no one previews the house. It feels like a month to the seller. So what do they do? They panic. They start to reduce. They think that they missed the boat. So again, who does that favor? That favors us as buyers. So why not take advantage of that? Because guess what? The last two years, we all got taken advantage of by the seller because they made the rules. So now the tables have turned and as a buyer, I get to dictate the terms, the price and everything else that I couldn't do the last two years. So again, another reason why I'm going to win in this market and so can you. And another great strategy, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I'm gonna share with you, which what we're using with our clients is getting the sellers to cover our closing costs. And here's what we're doing with that specific strategy. So this column represents, if you were to just to buy a house at list price, okay, I'm just gonna use a price of $450,000, just an average 20% down payment. Again, this strategy works with every loan type, VA, FHA, a conventional loan with three, five, 10% down, it doesn't matter. I'm just using a general 20%. You might be looking at a rate of 6.625% today. Your principal and interest payment is only $2,300. Again, principal and interest, this does not include your taxes and your insurance. This is based on a primary occupant home with a 740 credit score here in Las Vegas. So if you're buying anywhere else in the country, we may need to update rates based on your potential credit score and where you're looking to buy. And again, I can do this scenario anywhere in the country so you can see how this strategy will help you win in your market. Now, this second column is what everybody's doing right now. And this is the mistake that buyers, agents, and lenders are making with their clients. You're going in and you're asking the seller for a $35,000 price reduction, which you know what? You might think that's a good way to go because the house has been sitting on the market for over a month. This is the gut reaction for a lot of buyers to go in and beat the seller up on the price. Because again, we're still gonna get the market rate today, but by reducing the home by $35,000, you're only saving yourself $179 on your monthly payment. Now. You might say, Sean, that's a great savings. I love that. I won at the end of the day as a buyer, but here's where I want you to stop and I want you to open your mind for a second and I want you to think about this strategy that I'm going to show you because if you're in the market to buy a house today, this is how we're going to win. Instead of beating the seller up on price, go ahead and give them the sales price that they want, the 450,000. However, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the seller for a 2% credit. Now, depending on your loan type, you can get sometimes up to six, sometimes you can even go over 6% in closing cost credits. But in this scenario, I'm using a 2% credit. This is where you need to have a good loan officer who understands finance so they can best structure your deals for you. And you know what I always say, strategy is more important than rate. So now I'm going to get the desperate seller that wants to get rid of their house to play ball with me. And here's how we do it. We ask for that 2% credit I'm using that to buy my interest rate down. So many of you hear the, hear the term, I'm buying points or I'm paying points. 
typically the buyer, you are responsible for covering this cost. But because of the market that we're in right now, the shift that's taking place, sellers willing to negotiate, less competition out there, I can now ask for these types of credits. I'm gonna buy the rate down and look at what it does to my payment. It saves me $232 a month from the initial list price payment or an additional $60 off the $35,000 price reduction. That's the mistake that many buyers are making today. They just wanna beat the seller up on price. Stop doing that. Ask for seller credits, use that to buy your rate down. You're gonna save yourself more money on your payment. And this last column really shows the difference on how much buying power you can get back. Because as rates went from threes to fours, fours to fives, fives to sixes, all of you as home buyers have lost your buying power. So in this case, when the rate jumped up from 5.6 to 6.6, .6, our client lost about $45,000 in buying power. Many of you face that same problem. So imagine if you can update your pre-approval today with your lender, or if you need a second opinion, make sure to send me an email and we can certainly update your pre-approval for you and go over the strategy. Because if you can go from a $400,000 home to a $450,000 home, and the big point that I wanna emphasize here, your payment does not go up simply because of the interest rate of itself. This is how we can get you more buying power without increasing your monthly payment. This is the strategy that's gonna help you win in today's market. Now you might be looking at that interest rate and say, Sean, that rate is still high. I don't like it. Well, I encourage you to go to Freddie Mac's website. I encourage you to look at where interest rates have been over the last 50 years. And you can see a 5% rate today is not horrible. Yes, it's higher than two. Yes, it's higher than 3%, but it's not that bad. If you can get into a home and you can get these credits like I just showed you, and it can offset that interest rate, at least for the time being, because remember, you can always refinance. We all know at some point, the pendulum will swing the other way. Rates will come back down. That's when you as a homeowner, you can now take advantage of that. You might want to wait for that time frame for rates to go back down to then purchase, but I think that's a big mistake because think about what happened in the last couple of years. When rates were in the twos and threes, were there more or less buyers on the market? There was more. So what do you think will happen again? Everyone that got priced out, everyone that sat on the sidelines the last couple of years because they got so frustrated, don't you think they're gonna get back into the market if rates drop back down again? So do you think your odds of getting a home gets better or worse with more competition? It's gonna get worse. This is why I think right now is the perfect time to capitalize and take advantage of where the market's at right now. Don't be the person that's gonna wait and trying to time the market because more often than not, you're going to miss it. This is what typically happens in real estate because a lot of the data and everything that comes out that we look at, it's always looking in the rear view mirror. So if we know the bottom was call it two months ago, we're already past that point. So that means we're on the upward trajectory of going back up on any line graph. So you wanna make sure that you look at your options first. And I always stress this in our videos, make sure your lender gives you options and strategies, and they're not just giving you a fee worksheet and saying, hey, Kirsten, congratulations, you're pre-approved, go shop and look for your home. You don't want that. And since we're talking about the Las Vegas market, you also have to know that in Las Vegas, we do not have rent control. And I've said this in a few other videos where I've had clients tell me these horror stories of their rents going up three, five hundred, a thousand dollars a month. That is such a sad thing to hear. And honestly, I get worried for the average person out there because what are you going to do to come up with an extra five hundred bucks a month? in order to make your rent payment. You can only work so many part-time jobs to try to make up for that other cost. And owning a home gives you the biggest stability with your biggest living expense, which is your housing payment. Most people do not have a rainy day fund. If your groceries are going up, your gas, food, everything with inflation has been going up month over month, to let alone then have your landlord tell you you have to pay more money in rent simply because they can do that, that's a little worrisome to me. This is why if you can get yourself into a position to purchase a home, you can at least 
stabilize that payment for you and your family. And that's another reason why I look at buying a home in today's market, because you have to think long term. You can't just think about the market today. I want you to think about the real estate market over its entire lifespan. Real estate never loses. We have ups and downs, but it never loses. This is why many wealthy people own real estate to this day. I hope you can learn from this video. In fact, I've done other videos on my playlist that help you build a good foundation so you can become a homeowner. If you have specific questions, scenarios, or anything you wanna chat about, make sure to send me an email so we can talk because my number one goal is to help you get your mortgage right so you can become a homeowner. Share this with a friend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.